Hello everyone. Winter means wedding season in India, so a friend of mine asked me if it is possible to quickly create personalized invitation cards for all the individual guests. I said yes, it is possible. So here in this video, I will show you how to do that in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop as well. For Photoshop users, I recommend not to skip the first Illustrator part because it might help you to understand the process we do in Photoshop. As we are fighting with COVID, it's better not to invite people, so I have prepared an apology card for those guests who are not invited. My artboard size is 1200 by 800 pixels at 72 ppi. Here is the card divided into three parts. First is static text, which will be the same all the time. The second is name, which is going to be dynamic. Please notice that I have set the text alignment to the center. And third is the image which is also going to be dynamic. Here I have a total of three different images which I want as a background for different cards. To make this name text dynamic, go to Windows, Variables, select the text, click on the Make Text Dynamic button. Then you will see variable name and variable content. For our understanding, change the variable name to where underscore name. Then select externally linked background image. Again click on this make linked file dynamic button. You can see linked file written inside variable content. Change variable name to where underscore image. Now let's feed the data inside these variables. We need a CSV file for that. I'll use Google Spreadsheet to get the CSV file. You can use any other Spreadsheet app like Microsoft Excel. In the first row, write variable name same as we set in Illustrator. And add the red symbol before variable name which is a linked file. I'll make this bold, which is optional. Now insert variable data one by one. Enter image file URL. Note that in Windows version of Illustrator doesn't accept white spaces inside URL. So I have removed them and used camel case. But white space works fine with macOS. You can use hyphens or underscore. Fill in as many data sets as you need. Go to File, Download, Comma Separated Values, CSV. Open Illustrator. From the Variables flyout menu, load Variable Library. Select the CSV we just downloaded. As soon as you import dataset CSV, you will see the drop down list showing all 6 datasets we have inside the CSV file. You can see them individually by clicking on these two arrow buttons. Illustrator doesn't let us export these various datasets file at once via the export button. So we need to create a repeatable action to batch export them as JPGs. Open Actions panel from Window menu. Create new folder for our action. Click on Create new action button. I'll name it Export a JPG. You can see the recording has started. Whatever command you execute during recording will be recorded inside this action. I'll export this current file as a JPG. Once you export this temporary image, stop the action from recording and delete that exported JPG image. Now it's time to batch export as JPG. 
Open Plout menu of Action Panel. Click on Batch. Select the action. Source Datasets. Check Override Action Export command. Choose Destination folder. Select File Naming Convention. As you click on OK, all the images will be exported to the folder. You can see these cards with different names and backgrounds according to CSV data. Now in Photoshop, the process is the same but a little complex. Same as Illustrator, here are three layers for name, static text and background. Make sure background layer is rasterized. And dynamic name text is an editable text format. Go to Image menu, Variables, Define. Note that unlike Illustrator, Photoshop doesn't have a dedicated variable panel. Select the dynamic target layer. Check text replacement. Name the variable where underscore name. Do the same with image layer. There is no need to click OK and coming back here. Here the word is pixel replacement. Name it where underscore image. Method as is because we already have the exact same size of background image as the artboard. Click next. Now it's time to import the CSV data file. You can see I have another CSV for Photoshop. It's because Photoshop doesn't need add sign before the variable name which was compulsory for Illustrator. Encoding type to automatic. And then click OK. Photoshop now has those data inside the file. Go to File, Export, Datasets as Files. Unfortunately, Photoshop only lets us export as PSD. But don't you worry, we have a way to get them as JPGs. Set file naming convention as you want. Select individual dataset or all at once. Select destination folder. After clicking OK, you will get them as PSD in the target folder. Now same as we did in Illustrator, create an action to save PSD as JPG. Then go to File, Automate, Batch. Select the action we just made. Source folder. Choose the folder where all those individual PhDs are located. Click OK. Here are those PhD exported as JPG. You might think that this is a total tedious process but imagine what would you do if you have lots of cards to save. This method is definitely better than creating hundreds of multi-layered files. This was it for the video. If you found this content helpful then please give a like and subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos in future. Thanks for watching.